All right, everybody, it is Magic Monday, and I am incredibly excited for this one because it was a little delayed in shipping, and I have re had to refrain from just getting into it and looking at the checklist and start making a hunt list. But this is the newest set of Magic the Gathering, Dominaria United, came out in early September, September the 9th, I believe. Haven't seen too much of it be opened. Actually, I think the only stuff I've seen of it opened is um, for the pulls did some. And I like the way it looked, and I am security tag. Really excited to see it. So we got us a bundle, and in it we got the, the lands, both foil and basic. We got our die, which is always nice. The reference card, and that's what I'm really excited about. Eight set boosters of Dominaria United, plus an alt art of the herd migration and the box. So, and we got us a little poster, little mini poster. Ooh. All right, I'm liking the theme of it so far, and I think we can kind of see where it's going to go. But, and then we've got the cardboard cutout of the Victory Confetti slash counters, and some artwork, but I'll get into that later. Here is our die. I like the color. Very nice. There's so many 20-sided die because of doing these, and I am a fan. So let's get in. Oops, sorry about that. We're good. Let us get in and begin to begin, and let's get in with, start with the lands. I haven't even seen much of the lands this series. Here's the foil ones. So that'll be a good start. Oh, here's our alt art foil rare of the herd migration, which was, I think, the bundle exclusive card. You go up there, and here's our lands planes looking nice. Here's the other one. Ooh, love the design. That's really nice. We got the island. Is that a rock, a ship, or a creature? I don't know, but it looks cool. Night. Ooh, swamps. Ooh, kind of oddly bright for a swamp. There we go. That's a little more of the drab and dreary. Here's our mountains. Oh, do these look nice? The forests. Yep, I can already tell this is going to be quite a fun series. And here's the basic lands but they are the same as the ones we just saw here's our reference cards the standard and the whatnot the blocking and the attacking and how to cast spells the mana costs and whatnot and now we begin the packs and i cannot wait cannot wait to see what this looks like and the alt and the art cards especially. We're starting off right there with our art card. Danitha Benalia's Hope. That uh, yep, I'm gonna like this. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna like this. Look at that swamp. Little skull stained glass action going there. Impulse, and these are the first time I've this is the first time I've seen this, so I am really looking forward to this. The Land of War Stalker. So we got Elves. The. What's it? Arge Argivian Phalanx. Phalanx. Tal Taylor's Lookout. There's a pirate. There we go. We got probably what could be a commander. Rona. Sh uh, Shieldred's Faithful. Sorry, right, kind of having a butcher of a name there. Rona's Vortex. Elas Ilkor, Sadistic Pilgrim. Boy, if ever, ever a combination of... Oh, yeah, look at you. Urg, or Urg, Spawn of Turg. The legendary frog beast in the showcase. Yep. Here going up there is another showcase of Rona. Sheer, Sheel, God almighty, Sheldred's Faithful, I guess? The altar, or the... Showcases are looking good. We have our rare drag to the bottom. Like that. 
Foil, smash to dust. Destroy artifact, destroy creature with defender. Nice. And we have a monk token. All right, yep, one pack in and looking at the showcase, especially Urg, Spawn of Turg. I am, this is going to be a really cool one. So. Art card again. Shadow Prophecy. Let's take a closer look at that. That is really nice. I like the art cards on these. We've got a basic swamp. Another Arjuvian Phalanx. Tala's Lookout again. There we go. Viashino. What is that? Branch, Branch Rider. Viashino Warrior. Don't know what that is. There we go. A dual land sunlit marsh. That is really pretty. Mesa Cavalier, a human knight aboard a Pegasus. Tatiova, steward of tides. Coral Colony. I like the uh, island ones. Walking Bulwark. There you go. Was it walking? Yeah, it was walking. We got our showcase. Najal the Storm Runner. And this is really like kind of stained glassy, and I really like it. A rare land of Shivan Reef. Nice. And a foil land of the Molten Tributary. And we got again one of the inserts, because they as uh we've seen before, they'll often put different sets in these boxes. This is Dominaria's Judgment. It's a beautiful card. Uh, so 2001. So that's going to be one of the old sets. As you can see, there's the, the set marking. I think I recognize it, but I don't remember it. I, I know how helpful that was for you. But uh, when I find it, I'll put it in the description. Just because I'm curious. And I know you are too. Pack number three. Very, very, very nice. And that is... Jaya, Fiery Negotiator. I dig it. We got a Foil Plains. Nice to start off. There's another Viashino Branch Rider. Another Sunlit Marsh. Mesa Cavalier. Hmm. All right. The Phyrexian Warhorse. Yep, I like you. Electrostatic Infantry. Najal, the Storm Runner. We have uh, we have him right there on the uh, the showcase, and there's the base card. Herloon Battle Hill, him. I'm sorry, is that? Oh, I like it. Showcase of Niall of Avizoa Aeronaut. Man, these these definitely look like they would be found like in old cathedrals, just that kind of style. And here's our rare historian's boon. Another rare Squee, Dubious Monarch. You know what? I like Squee. Squee can go up here. A foil rare. Wow. Look at that. Ragefire Hellkite. Like that. Foil rare goes up. And a Saproling token. These Saprolings are little, like, plant fungus type things. <clears throat> and some cards that are now so overpowered that they have banned them in modern play. You can only play them in what's called historical. And they'll kick these out and it gets out of hand in a big, big hurry. Look at that. I'm trying to figure out what like the theme of this would be. Zur Eternal Schemer. I don't know. Thoughts down below. What would kind of the theme of this be so far? Either way, it's kind of, I don't know. We're, we'll get a couple more packs and see. We've got a Plains, another Land, Crystal Grotto, Sunbathing Rootwalla. Oh, it's a lizard. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, that's that's awesome. Tidepool Turtle. That's really cool. Hexbane Tortoise. Another turtle. Nice. What in the world are you? Shore up. It's an instant spell, but it looks like a giant... Lobster? Crab creature? Lobster creature? 
Blight Pile, Wing Mantle Champlain, beautiful, angelic wings, love it, Strength of the Coalition, another showcase of Aaron, Benalia's Ruin, man, these are so cool looking, here's our a Rare Land, Plaza of Heroes, a Foil, is Essence Scatter, and a Soldier Token. Halfway through, and I could not be happier. Not even gonna lie. Not go. Come. I think it was kind of cool coming into it and not knowing what I would be looking for, and then that tiger kind of threw me off. We haven't seen many tigers, and still trying to get a handle on it. But I'll, I'm gonna continue on and just admire it. Get a floating lotus, timeless lotus. I was close. Very nice. Got a base mountain, another Phyrexian warhorse, Argivian cavalier, heroic charge, a Balduvian berserker, a core berserker, a dragon whelp, whelp, I'm sorry, Niel Avazoa aeronaut. We had her, um, I think we had that in the showcase. Slimefoot Survey. That's a nice looking design on a sorcery. Ooh, yeah. Lagamos, Hand of Hatred. Yeah, I like that one a lot. I like all of these showcase ones. Like, seriously, the ones in Streets of New Capenna were really good, and I think these are right up there with them. Uh, Tori De uh, Diavenant, Fury Rider. Leyline binding for the rare. That's nice. The foil is fires of victory. And we got Dominarios. Little card there. So that was pack five. These, um, those are great. That really giving me a, the stained glass vibe. And I'm a sucker for stained glass. Not even gonna lie. Pack number six. Okay, so definitely kind of like, definitely getting some angels. Resolute reinforcements. Resolute, okay. But it's a lot of nature. A lot of, uh, a, lot of a lot of nature, a lot of angels so far is what I'm getting. Base planes, radiant grove. Beautiful. Take up the shield. Hammer Hand, Enchantment, oops, sorry, Aggressive Sabotage, nice, Thrill of Possibility, Cut Down, Balduvian Atrocity, yeah, the Swamps are going to be a good one in this series, a Phyrexian Berserker, Phyrexian Missionary, there we go, Rona, Shieldred's Faithful. We had we had that one up there earlier, and I am not going to complain about another. A rare Valiant Veteran, a Neshoba Brawler on the foil. What is the star? Power is equal to the number of basic land types among lands you control. Interesting. So number of basic land types. Yeah. And that doesn't necessarily mean different lands. It means different types of lands. And when they say basic lands, they mean, um, let me just find the planes here, stuff like that. Your basic planes, none of the ones that do all this stuff, kind of like, um, like Plaza of Heroes, that is not a basic land, you know, because it does other things. Um, and probably, yeah, and same with the, the Shivan Reef. So, if you're playing just a basic level deck and you get this guy out there, he could turn into something uh, really big. And Trample, if you remember last time, if you get him a lot of damage, he only has a three defense, so he's not going to, you know, a moderate creature could kill him. But Trample is when you attack, if he had, let's say he has a five. There's a five attack, and we're attacking Rona here, and she blocks with a four defense. He'll do the four damage to kill her, 
And then the remaining one from his five would go to the player. So trample is a really good thing. That is really nice. Rada, Coalition Warlord. Yep, I want to get some cards of that. We got us a Foil Forest. Very nice. Shadow Prophecy. We saw that before. Whoa! Oh, look at that design. Bone Splinters. Yep, I like that design a lot. The green and the black. Enthrall to the Pit. He does not look pleasant. Keldon Strike Team. Bortuk Bone Rattle, a troll shaman. Nice. I really, really like it. Pilfer. I don't know what that is, but that is going to haunt my dreams tonight. Hey, here we go. We had the Himma for our first showcase, but Urg, Spawn of Turg, the legendary frog beast. Uh, it's equal to the number of land cards in your graveyard. So again, that's going to fluctuate. Uh, depending on what's going on. Look at that. Tora Kenarud, Sky Knight. Yep. Oh, oh, wow. And we're getting all kinds of good ones. Garna, Blood Fist of Keld. Man, these are gorgeous looking cards. Hey, our first saga, and it's a rare, the Elder Dragon War. Uh, so, yeah, so you put this down, and provided they don't, your opponent doesn't destroy it. When you put it down, it's immediately going to do step one. So it would deal two damage to each creature and each opponent. Then your next turn, step two occurs. Then on your third turn, if they haven't destroyed it, on this one you create the red 4-4 four, four, four dragon token with flying, and then this goes into the graveyard. Ooh, we got a foil tide pole turtle. And another sapperling token. All right, last pack. I would say last pack magic, but I really, I don't know what we're looking for, but I will tell you the showcase of this series, I am a fan. Oh, is that a Johnny? Yep, a Johnny, the sleeper agent. I recognize him. He's the the very majestic looking uh, white lion in magic lore. I really got to get more into the lore. I know a little bit, but I want to know more, more lore. Base Forest, the Thrill of Possibility again, ha, <laughs> Splatter Goblin, Splatter Goblin dies, target creature and opponent controls, gets minus one, minus one until end of turn, that could kill something small, Colossal Growth, Goblin Picker, I don't want to know what Goblin's picking, here we go, our first artifact equipment, Vanquisher's Axe, We've seen the artifact creatures, but not the equipment yet. Another cut down, another Balduvian atrocity. Phyrexian missionary, Niel Avazoa aeronaut, and that beautiful showcase. There he goes. Zur Eternal Screamer is our rare, probably a commander card. Oh, beautiful foil land of crystal grotto, and finally from. Oh, a different old set right there. Joria of the Gitu, and that is 2007, so a more modern set. But that does it for the Dominaria United bundle box. That was awesome. Yeah, I I am a fan. The art cards, obviously, but... And Bone Splinters is cool, but... Man, these showcases. These are absolutely beautiful cards. I I am a big fan of this series, and I hope I can find more of this because I, I like Erg, Spawn of Turg. I like him. I like Squee. I like the Bone Splinters. And obviously every art card, but I, I love it. I, I am a fan, and... Kudos to Magic and uh, the company that makes them Wizards of the Coast. They're keeping, they keep on just making these sets more incredible each and every time. So let me know what you think down below. I really like it. Thoughts, comments, whatever you got. The, these are cool, and I hope that they come back again on Magic Monday. 
I know there's another set coming up very soon in October, but because I just opened this one, I'm going to tout this one for a little bit. So thanks for checking me out. Hope you're all well. We'll catch you next time, everybody.